this is Jordan from The Wayward Couple. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a video. What I do want to do is do a quick video on our towing hooks. There's been, there's obviously a bit of, uh, well, everyone's got an opinion on the right hook um, and what they do and what they should do. There's a local Adelaide company that has designed these Mowbray hooks. Um, they're available for a pair, about $90. So we're going to open them up, and we're going to have a bit of a look, uh, and we're going to see how easy they are to get to the car in the van. So, stay with Righto. me. So let's open the setup, and have a look what you get. Try and do it without cutting my finger off, or cutting the kitchen bench. So, you get a bit of fitting instructions on the back. Um, you get two pins, two spring pins. This is the piece that fits to the car. Obviously the spring goes into the hole. So you push it in and then the spring goes in. Uh, and this is the piece that you fit to the chains. So I've never used these before. I've never actually seen them being used, but one would think that they clip in like that and there's no way that it can come out. So that's what they look like. Let's go see how to fit them. All right guys, so here we are. I've had, always had a bit of trouble putting on one of these chains. Uh, this one with all the uh, other bits and pieces here. I always seem to forget it, so... Well, not forget it, but it's the last thing I do and it makes it even harder. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to have a shot at this. I've never done it before, but this is the tools I've brought out. Brought out one pair of old school pliers. All right, we've got both the uh, shackles there. All right, let's give it a shot. Let's try it. I'm not actually sure how they work, so it might not be a successful try. But that piece goes like that. Let's use that one to make sure it's pushed all the way in. Hopefully we can see it. I'm gonna take the pin out of the little bag. Two pins per bag. Put that in there. Alright, it's a little bit harder. Well, it's not harder, but not exactly how I thought it would work. Try and get this right. I don't know if there's a right and a wrong way of doing it. Try and keep it straight. Well, that's probably the wrong way. Maybe we try and push it in from the back. No, we'll go to the front. I think you want to get that in there. Try and hold up. And then squeeze. Readjust your pliers. That's it. It's done. One done. Let's have a crack at the other one. See if we can turn the camera around. We'll do it from a different angle. This one from this angle here. So, about the same. Put it up. Push that bit in. The yeah, other pin out of the bag. There's not heaps of room here, so try not to drop the pin. I'm also using my left hand. Put it in there. You just want to get it started first. Oopsies. Just applies a little bit, maybe. Put that in there. Right, that was a bit difficult, but let's have a look. 
squeeze it in, you can see it almost at the end there. Final squeeze. And that's it. That took all of about, I don't know, a minute a piece, not even. Let's go do the van. That's what they look like. Alright, so we're back here. So we've done the car. I've hooked up the camper just to make sure that we get everything in the right spot. What I want to check is the chain links. Um, always crush the chains. Take off the shackle. What I want to do is just check the length before we do anything else. And hope that that fits in there, which it does just. So, we have a dry run. We might have a bit of a problem there. So that's about the right length. That's what you want. You want it to be a clip on. Like that. It's not going anywhere. So, let's have a look at this. What's going on here? Chains are pretty. Might be. Alright, so I had a little bit of time of getting the chain in there. She's pretty tight. But, it's in there. Uh, I might just have to find something to push it down a little bit with. Find the sweet spot. And there we go. So that's low enough now. And do it exactly the same way. Take a pin out the bag. It's probably easier that it's not on the car. Put the pin there. Try and adjust the pliers with one hand. Hopefully I don't drop this pin. Start to push it in. Once you get it there. Adjust it. Give it a squeeze. As we showed before, you always cross your chains, but for the, the video, clip it in like that. So like I said, always cross your chains. To release it, pull it out like that. These are 100% legal, complied with Australian standards and all that sort of stuff. So I'm gonna do the other one and then we'll show you what it looks like hooked up. Cheers. So, this is obviously a very tight chain in here. Um, actually I had to use a hammer and a punch just to, to knock it in. That's how tight it was. I've never seen anything that tight. These are very large chains. Um, hopefully this goes in all right. And then we'll uh, hook it up to the car. It's a little bit off there, but hopefully it'll go in. There we go. So that's in. I'll go down. We'll hook it up to the car. So cross the chains. Bang bang. So when we've got everything else plugged in, when you got the um, the pin for the tow bar, it was a bit difficult to get this shackle in. So, all right, well, that's it. That's done. Like I was saying, um, with the pin, the plugs, everything else, it is a bit hard to get everything. But that's it. Take them off. There's a little tab on the side. Pull it out. We now carry around. It's got. A little storage hook that we used to put the shackles on, that fits just fine. Lovely.